So this is pretty much as much as you can see from what's behind the walls. So they definitely have a good way to pique your curiosity. Wonder how nice it looks on back there. And it's over like 2,000 years old. Alright, it's 5.55 in the morning and uh, we're going to BA Prefecture. Yeah. We're No, we're not there yet. I said we're going there. And, uh, oh, oh, really? Okay, so we're... Sorry, correction. I'm, I am sleeping. I just woke up, so I don't know what's happening, but... Yeah, we're going to Issei Jingu. It's our first stop in Mie Prefecture. My girlfriend's a gangster. She wanted to go to Mie Prefecture, so she's just like, yo, let's rent the car. And she's been driving all night. I just woke up, so my job is to make sure she's fed and gets everything she wants. You want a chip? There you go. We made it to, rather, Isi Jingu Shine. This is the entrance. It took... How long did it take to get here, baby? Six, like, but it took like five. Because Kaori's a speed demon, she was just pedal to the metal the whole way. Shrine, uh, well we're not there yet, but it's estimated to be over 2,000 years old and to give you an idea of the age of this place, well, these trees are freaking massive, so um, I don't know how big they are, but, uh, sorry, I don't know how old they are, but uh, when you get that big, you got some years under your belt, that's for sure. shrine now it's just the staircase to go up so well the entrance is as far as we go because you can't take pictures or videos when you're inside so that's as much as you see of it temple. Uh, there are two parts or two temples for Issei Jingu and this is the inner one. Um, so you don't really get to see <coughs> the shrine and whatever you do get to see you don't get to take pictures of. But um, the area around it is super super nice. Really well maintained. You got workers who are sweeping leaves off the ground and evening out the gravel. Uh, but effort to keep the place as pristine as it is. So. Um, it, it, it really does look nice and the weather is great for it so uh, now we're going to go off to the outer temple let's check it out all right now we're at the entrance of the outer temple so, let's go inside and check it out Pretty 
much as much as you can see from what's behind the walls. So they definitely have a good way to pique your curiosity. I wonder how nice it looks on back there. And it's over like 2,000 years old. So I'm not really sure what's so special about these rocks, but you're not allowed near them for some reason. How for rocks. Alright, so we just got out of the outer temple. Um, it's pretty cool stuff. Like, um, in terms of differences between the inner temple and the outer temple though, I personally couldn't tell any. Um, other than you can see a little bit more of what's behind the walls um, here. And there's like some special rocks over surrounded by a barrier. And there were no fish at this point. <laughs> other than that, I mean they look the same to me. But, um, so I don't know, as far as I can tell, I'm the only foreigner here. Um, but I'm a foreigner in disguise. Because I looked at me then told they hear me talk. <laughs> start filming everything with my camera. Then they know I'm a tourist. So I might be the only one here. And I think the reason for that is that if you don't know the context of like the significance of this place, then you can't really enjoy it. Like I think Calvary enjoyed it uh, enjoyed it a lot more than I did after a Japanese person knowing the context of it. But you know, she did tell me, you know, just put yourself in the mind frame that this place was here two thousand years ago. And uh, in that sense it is pretty cool. But uh, I'm ready to see something else. <laughs> I, I changed my mind. This place has these refreshing mist things and the inner temple didn't have that so the outer temple is definitely better.